Thanks for staying with us. So the Chairman Senate Committee on Army, Senator Alain Bumé, has said that the clamor in some quarters for the inclusion of electronic voting and transmission of election results electronically in the Electoral Act Amendment Bill for 2023 general elections will not work in another part of the country. Mm -hmm. Specifically, he said the concept is futuristic, mm -hmm. but not realistic. Well this is the same senator that also said that local policing is not the right way to go because mm. he believes that every that the, the police we have have no reason not to be able to police the entire um, state, Nigeria. So what are your thoughts on this? You can join the conversation 081-270-53687. You can also call us on 091-390-76948. You can send us messages on YouTube and uh, Facebook. We'd we'll love to read your messages. So um, what are your general thoughts? So his specific um, concern is that there are certain areas within the northern states that have no electricity. And it would be unfair to say voting, um, transmitting the results electronically would be the right method in that. Do you agree with him, Nima? I do. I do. I believe that problems are also local. So the situation, the, or the situation in the north is not the same in Lagos. And it is not the same in Abuja. It is not the same in Meiduguri. It is not the same in major capitals in the north. So you cannot just generalize and say the north. But in Bono, they have a peculiar, they suffered insurgency for so long. They've had their infrastructures destroyed. Some areas, the bridge connecting certain communities have been, you know, blasted off. And they've not been reconstructed. So, yes, you can say we cannot do certain things in Bono or, in, uh, you know, as a, as a state. But you cannot generalize and say the whole of the north. That's why I say that the, sol the solution is not in cancelling every proposed policy. Mm. Because you think it can't work for you. You can't just talk generally like that as a senator. In the, in, in the North, for instance, state policing might not work for them. Mm. But it was the solution to the insurgency in the past. JTF, civilian JTF, yeah. helped yeah. largely in curbing Boko Haram in the recovered areas. And so when he talks like that about state policing as well as electronic voting, what mm. is the blanket? Let me come to you. This, your, your initial thoughts on this. Yeah, okay. So uh, when I heard I was... You know, I was taken aback because I expected that um, every leader, your first responsibility is to find solutions to problems. So exactly. you look around your environment and you see that, okay, uh, this um, electronic, you know, collation of results will not work. What can we do to exactly. ensure that uh, we get ready? We find, if he, were, he had opened his mouth to give us um, what is needed, give us options, okay, this exactly may not work here, but if we do this and do that, we may get to a certain level, we may come up a bit, we may meet mm -hmm. you halfway, then I understand that mm -hmm. you have plans, but you have limitations, and then mm -hmm. everybody can put hands together, put heads together mm -hmm. to work it out, but if you say this one, no, it will not no. work because so, so, and so, that means you don't even have any plans to go further. Yes. Also, at the former Zamfara State Governor and Chieftain, um, Ahmad Yarima, in the papers today, cautioned the, uh, against the fact that some people are working behind to ensure that this electronic collation of results does not work. But if they look into it, it could work. Yeah. And that's how they started that's when we said uh, we should have the uh, card registration. Before, people mm. would just write names and you just right. see numbers everywhere. But with that card registration, <clears throat> you know, you show that you have to put your thumbprints and then the numbers... Yeah. So okay, let, let, me, let me hear your initial thoughts mm. on this. Okay, so my initial thoughts, I, it just, there are many... <laughs> The lack of knowledge and research shows in some of our policies and when we hear our leaders talk. And the fact that they are not in the 21st century, they just don't know these things. Because they are placed, no matter how remote it is, there are technologies that can be deployed there. Mm. If you throw the US military into that place, they will make phone calls and transmit information. Yeah. So we, we, we can... We must be able to use technology and research okay. that can the university somewhere, somewhere, somewhere tell you how to access the satellites, mm -hmm. which is accessible anywhere in the world. Right. We have satellites pointing everywhere. Right. Can we have deployed um, technology that will be used strictly for this election mm. to convey this thing? Because what we're trying to do is secure the election so that there is no fraud mm. anywhere. It's free and fair. I mean, the way, I mean I, I, as I said, I work for, there's a, I, I do some work for an American... Um, company that provides educational solutions. Mm. And part of them is that they understand that they have tablets to help teachers. Mm. And they understand there are rural areas mm. that don't have electricity. So they have these devices that can last 10 days. Mm. So you charge it in the city, you take it to the rural areas. And you can where, use it. For whole 10 days. So the, the head teacher only has to go to town to charge for the entire week. 
Hmm. So these are things. So, so technology provides solutions. Yes. So if we have a, a, a cut and dry, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. I'm not moving. Can, is, are there other ways that we can ensure that we provide this solution so that for these pretty peculiar areas to ensure that because the objective so is to have a seamless transmission of results. If, if we are relying, if we are relying strictly on the telecommunication providers, they've already said it that they cannot guarantee providing network in some remote areas yeah. because they cannot secure the lives of their workers. Mm -hmm. So that one, we can't rely on them. We cannot, they're, they're businessmen. Mm -hmm. But what I, what, what, what I wanted to hear is that we have complained that the election, the election process is still faulty. There are still some gaps. Mm -hmm. And the, one of the ways to block that gap is to do electronic um, transmission of results. Collected results. Mm -hmm. So if you say this is not going to, if you say we, can't, we don't have the resources at the moment, but I would have information on this later. But he's saying it's not against it. Let's be clear. He's no, issue is, he's, he's, he's no issue to, for 2023. Mm -hmm. For now, that's what he's saying, so, yes. So in response to that, that you know, networks and all of that, I've already said, they can't you know, provide. He said that the most credible way to do elections is what they've done in the past. And he cited examples referring to the time of PDP and all those rigging that happened, saying that the people defended their votes and that if the people can defend their vote, that is the way to go. Maybe yes, Ibono. So we can have ways, solutions that are local to Bono that can I work agree. for them. Mm. But I doubt that, you know, just generating power with generator work. We've seen even in Lagos that some people will enter polling units and carry books. So <laughs> is it generator that I, that I cannot lift? You can lift you know, it. You know, people will come in and lift it. Even if it requires two people to lift it, one person can vex and lift it and say this election will oh. yeah, Nima, let me, so, let, me, okay. let me throw this out there. Let, let, me, let, let, me, let me just pick your brain from this because I, I worry... You know, as we are trying to almost rebuild mm -hmm. the nation, nation. Mm -hmm. right? Well, everybody's eyes are open now, and we want to fix. If we want to fix Nigeria, my question is, do we need votes from these rural, rural areas, especially for major uh, positions like the presidency, House of National Assembly? The reason I ask, those communities, the, the, the leaders the that are relevant to them are the local governments, those yeah. who are closest to them, those are the ones they know. Yeah. They don't know who <laughs> Buari is, they don't know who, who Fela Droto is, who is going to be running, they don't know who these big guys are. Mm -hmm. So my question is, do, do, do we really need the involvement of these totally lower class um, Nigerians to be part of the decision making? Because if we want to fix Nigeria, can we rely on their own understanding <laughs> yeah. of the issues? It's very very it's very it's I'm, I'm, I'm throwing this out there. Yeah. Can we rely on their understanding of global international issues, mm. um, infrastructural issues, um, resource control issues to vote properly? Can we rely it on them? Not, it is not their fault. And I know a lot of Medugu. I have a friend in Meduguri who is doing her, a PhD now. So not all of them are not educated or you on the phone. I'm talking about the people in 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 the the in the people in the people in the the people in 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 the the people in the people in the the people in the the people in the the people in the people to the people the because they would vote un un uninformedly about yeah. what the, the situation is, is still going to be against okay. them. I, 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 I want you to think about it. Let me okay. go. Should be careful. We'll come back. We'll, we'll, we'll dig further into that. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So we're still discussing Senator Ondome's uh, proposition that the electronic transmission of results in very rural areas is not realistic at this time because of the poor infrastructure uh, uh, in, in, the, in those communities. And therefore, I ask the question that, okay, if we are really going forward to fix this country and we really want Nigeria to move forward, those guys in those really, really poor neighborhoods really don't know the big, uh, the, 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 the big candidates. They know the local government chairman, mm -hmm. the LCDAs, all the various communities. Those are the ones they know and they should vote for. But do you think that maybe we should start thinking of for those big tickets, like the governorship, the uh, National Assembly members, we should have it, we, should, we, we might have to disenfranchise these people who have no knowledge mm. of the real issues at stake. Mm. Because if we want to fix this country, we want people who are real stakeholders mm -hmm. to be part of the voting system. What are, what are your thoughts? Yes, yeah, so um, I agree with you, uh, because I understand that over the years, if you look at our political landscape, we've had people from those rural areas being used. Yeah. The fact that they are they vote without actually being really informed. So it just takes one elder in the community, one emir in the community, to say, okay, all of you follow this person. Mm -hmm. 
and yeah. everybody just goes without right. asking the right questions. If the person has the capacity to be a leader, they right. don't have that knowledge. So in that light, we could say, mm, with the way we are going, we want to bring real development. Who are the stakeholders who can ensure mm. that we get it right? I remember that um, in family, when you want to have meetings and everything, it's not everybody that is a member of the family that sticks on the table. There are people who are leaders. There are people who, uh, because of their track record, sit at the table and mm. make decisions that run through. Yeah. So if we want that sort of development in the nation, I think we now start to ask ourselves, who are these stakeholders mm. that can make the right decision that mm. will even affect mm. the people in the rural areas? And when you have education, education is one thing that puts you uh, that pedestal, yes. yes. Because you're already informed, you have the knowledge, you can make better decisions. So I think we need to start looking at that. Let me take this course. Let me take. No, it's not faulty. 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 It's and so is it. This is your obeying nature about Nigeria. And Nima, her own perception about northern Nigeria is that northern Nigeria is a dead zone. For your own information, northern Nigeria is not a dead zone in terms of education. Very, 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 very good in education. Uh, what you are seeing here is this. everything has two colors. Everything has two corners. You see this electronic voting you are all talking about. Let me take you the memory lane. I think for Uber won 2019 election in December. Why in reality, Buhari won the election? How do you just suppose that one? How do you justify it? You understand? We are very, we are very much in the head to modernity, without looking at the pros and the cons of the modernity. This issue of electronic voting is subject, is open to manipulation. A lot of people read election before the election day. And this issue, what is the way say? That's why the fact that I disagree with him in many instances. Power belongs to the people. Thank you. Thank you very much, Hassan. So we also saw that that even in the U.S., they were talking about uh, Trump was claiming that some of these numbers were manipulated. Mm. So electronic ele electronic transmission of the results is not perfect. Might, might not be perfect. So you know, thank so you for going to, to the U.S. Because well, let me just before before I um, say my point, um, Hassan mentioned something, and I'm wondering did Hassan listen to Nima because Nima said that the people in Badugu well, that are very educated, very yeah. well educated, and clarified that they were talking about the rural areas. So what I would say is, Trump won the election despite the polls, despite all the educated analysis mm. that Hillary was going to win. Why? He appealed to people who didn't care if he used foul language, mm. who didn't know about the fact that he doesn't pay taxes, who didn't, who were not analytical mm. about the decisions they were making. They were just like, this person came to meet us. We've been ignored by most government, most presidents, mm. presidential candidates. But this man came to us, came to canvas yeah. us, made us feel important, we will vote for him. And the numbers shocked people. Most of Trump's electoral votes came from the rural areas who were largely neglected right from time. Yes. So any president has, anybody has ability to reach out to them. It will cost money, but you can go and meet them. The sad challenge with Nigeria is that most of this rural population defer to one godfather. Mm -hmm. And... The stakeholders know how to approach the godfather and stamp like, you uh, pledge your loyalty to me. And that person said, I will deliver you a hundred votes. Mm -hmm. I will deliver you a thousand votes. How can one person deliver a thousand votes? It's because they have built influence over exactly, those people. Yes. So that, that's what I want us to fix because we need to cut off that influence such that every citizen should decide. I would say, if right now you're, you're not qualified to vote at this time because of maybe your educational um, level or maybe your exposure. I'm not saying it's going to be showing out there. I because know. the truth is that we want to fix the country. Those people who were disenfranchised for many years, there was no godfather. Mm. Talking to them. It was the independent I'm not aware. I don't know mm. even interested. Mm. But it takes time for you to sell the ideology of your party to them. But they now believe in you. So, so my point is that can we begin to look at that in, that, in, the, in this part so, of the world? So, Mariah, but let me take I this think, far. I'll come to mm. you, Nim. 
I think Peter's been holding for a while. Peter, are you there? Hello, Peter, you're live. Go ahead, please. Hello, good morning. Morning. Yeah, um, the issue you are discussing, you know, the suggestion that was made by the Senator Ndumi, I think that is absurd. When we talk of technology, it is not just the issue of going, uh, carrying something or carrying generators, there, yeah, somebody was saying. These are machines that we charge, and they, some of them can last two, three days. Right. Uh, the issue of saying it's not going to work, I think it's a problem. It's, it's not good for uh, the Nigerian political system. Why am I saying so? Um, if we don't implement, especially the electronic transmission of this result, we know that these are the places or this is the area where region takes place and the votes of the people don't count. If really the votes are to come, we have to at least or at worst ensure electronic transmission of this result right from the polling unit and all those interferences that we normally have on the way, they will not. Hello? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes. Uh, all these interferences that we normally have that do occur, uh, they will be eliminated and the votes will count. Then there's also a problem that we also have. When it comes to you, hear somebody, they say they are presenting the result, and somebody will tell you, oh, I will deliver 1,000 votes, like one of you rightly pointed. And you are delivering 1,000 votes, you have 1,000 cards. <laughs> it, it all entails this issue whereby we have monetized yeah. the electoral system. Thank you very much, you Peter. Want? Yes. Let's quickly just do clarity. Like I said, I think um, Hassan doesn't understand when I say problems are local. Mm. So what we call touting here and box... Uh, mm. the, Ballot box hijacking that is common here it's might, might be different because of the security issues there. In some areas, they still can't hold elections in the northeast. Some areas presently, I, I even doubt with the That's situation in Kaduna, yeah. if they will have successful elections, if the situation persists in Kaduna. Mm -hmm. So we need to take care of each area's problem. Security is a major problem there. Hijacking and all of that example that I gave about, you know, the devices that you want to give as alternative to having this election work can be, not, can be, can be, can be impeded if yeah. you don't take care of uh, security. Right. And that's why I meant, I didn't ramble. mean that they are not educated. We need to okay. wrap up on this. Yes, oh, I was, I was, yeah, I was going to prefer a solution of, um, I remember when we had, um, uh, I've forgotten his name, the Honorable representing the location within or, or your state. Um, Shinopela? Yes, Shinopela. And he mentioned that there is, there must, we, we must do voters' awareness, intensive okay. voter ed education. Mm. And it can't be done, uh, he's a bit partisan because he's a politician. It has to be done by civil society. Mm -hmm. Because until we inform people, we cannot, an, an uninformed person will make a deformed decision. Mm -hmm. So we need to inform people on their rights, we need to inform people on what they deserve. If, 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 if I'm in a rural area and I've never seen power, I would see, you give me bread and I'll think bread is the war because I yeah. only see bread once in a year. But if you give me knowledge as to what I deserve, what my life should be like, what my quality, quality of life I should have, then I can make proper intelligent demands from my politicians. So we must have independent, intelligent um, um, voter awareness education cutting across the cities as well as the rural areas. Yeah, mm. yeah I, I would like to say that um, one of the reasons um, the government has come around for regional uh, development now is that every region would now develop at their pace. Mm -hmm. We are not all mm -hmm. so we should be looking for solutions that are local to each level. Mm -hmm. So now we know the problem of the north, I would like that uh, the governors come together to ask themselves what can we do mm -hmm. to ensure that we step up so mm, exactly. You know, it's nobody is yeah, yeah, yeah. Educating your uh, you know, yeah. and making sure that you, you, uh, your classrooms and all of that are working. Some states deliberately, as governors, watch it dilapidate. Yeah, and when you miss it. the development years of such, some children, it will affect it everybody. Policy will continue. We have to run, but you see, if you think about it critically. What technology do you really need to transmit? Mm. Okay, so we do the normal manual counting. Mm. Okay, we have 100 votes here. You insert it in the device in the and, you, and it's gone. So then you, you, no. you, we over... Um, the, the, Maybe they need to see if they put a laptop or not, something. You don't need anything out of the ordinary. You don't really need anything out of the ordinary for this. So let's not complicate it. Just unfortunately... Unfortunately, <laughs> that is all we can take on this comment. Please, we'll list, we'll, we can still read your comments, so please send your messages on YouTube, and um, we'd love to really hear your thoughts on this. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll move on to other topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.